With all Texans over 18 eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine Monday, health district officials anticipate much higher volumes for their clinics. PJ Green spoke with him today and he joins us now with more. Director of Health Lou Kreiler says the district's website is equipped to handle the high volume of traffic expected. And while she would like to have mass vaccination clinics, that all depends on how many doses the district receives. Vaccinations are continuing to roll through Texoma. Johnson & Johnson recently sent out its one-dose vaccine, and pharmacies like Harvest Drug and Gift have received some doses to distribute throughout the community. At, at first, when we first opened our shots, it's been a couple months since we've been able to get any, uh, so it took a little bit for the spots to fill up, but now they are all uh, filled up now, and, and we're giving them out. With adults becoming eligible for the vaccine soon, Director of Health Lou Kreitler anticipates a high number of people signing up with the health district. But mass vaccination clinics depend on the unpredictable vaccine allotment from the state. And we never know that from one week to the next. So we'll continue to make plans based on um, our vaccine allocations, which we generally find out on Friday afternoons. With MSU struggling to get vaccines, MSU Medical Director Dr. Keith Williamson hopes this new eligibility can bring vaccines to the university. That's an excellent access point to get the 20-somethings who get the disease. They don't suffer as badly from it, but they are very efficient at uh, spreading it. So the Johnson & Johnson vaccine would be perfect for that group. With the Johnson & Johnson vaccine only needing one shot, health officials say they have had appointments canceled in favor of that vaccine. But Kreitler says everyone should get the vaccine, no matter which one it is. So people are very passionate about which vaccine that, that they get, even between Moderna and, and Pfizer. But, you know, until we have a, a large supply of vaccine, I really just encourage individuals to get vaccinated the first opportunity that they have and not to wait for their preferred vaccine to be available. Health officials say getting vaccinated no matter what can push the community closer to the end of the pandemic. Now, Kreiler also says that she hopes the community can earn herd immunity by early summer, and all adults are eligible to sign up right now on the district's website. Head on over to our website for that link.